worse, then NVIDIA's high-quality Fallout 4 mod has some bad news. Turns out that adding super-advanced lighting and shadows to a thermonuclear wasteland just makes it scarier, moodier, and more dangerous than ever. Hello again, I'm Blunty, and so reads the opening paragraph of a blog post on GeForce.com today. And it's all about a very interesting first from NVIDIA. They're actually releasing their own mod for a game. A Fallout 4 mod. Very shortly to be made available at Bethesda.net when NVIDIA officially launch it at PAX West. It's called Vault 1080 which, as the name suggests, is in celebration of the new GTX 10 series graphics cards, the 1080 being the king of that particular family, and of course it introduces a new vault to the game, which is where the majority of the gameplay takes place. More than an hour's worth of new gameplay, in fact, with a brand new quest line. And as you may imagine, it's a mod custom built to show off all the clever graphic stuff from NVIDIA's GameWorks middleware. In particular, things like volumetric lighting are extensively used in ways not present in the standard game, and with HBAO Plus ambient occlusion. And judging by the trailer and the sample shots they posted up, god rays are everywhere slashing through the air thick with dust and fog. And they say it's Fallout like you've never seen before. I quote again from the blog post. Vault 1080 has certainly taken its toll on its occupants. They've become a congregation that embraces the darkness and sickness. And they've done it, so they believe, to survive. They're not the friendliest bunch, but is the whole thing built on lies? The truth is deep within Vault 1080. Through a whole lot of fearful mystery, find it and decide for yourself whether the monsters deserve their salvation or not. Now, this all sets a very interesting precedent. Is it a one-off stunt? Will NVIDIA be likely to make more custom sexy graphics mods for more games? I suppose the success or indeed failure of the popularity and critical reception of this new content will be one of the deciding factors here. I mean, if everyone flips out and loves it, of course they're going to make more. Why wouldn't you? And this all means outside of all the usual silicon engineers and driver and UI software geeks, somewhere right now inside one of NVIDIA's buildings, there's a team of people responsible for this mod. What do they do next? Were they hired for this job? Were they moved or borrowed from elsewhere in the company? What do they do next? And are they the same game development folk who are behind the NVIDIA VR Funhouse game thingamabobbledoodle? Because like, that's quite well put together and a hell of a lot of fun. What else are they doing? Are they working on mods for Rise of the Tomb Raider, or The Witcher 3, and other popular games that do run on Gameworks tech? And are these baby steps towards developing or publishing full fat games themselves? That would be an interesting future, wouldn't it? Games made and published by the people who also make the hardware they run on? Mm, that's almost a little bit console-like, isn't it? So what would you like to see from them next? I mean, No Man's Sky is supposed to have official mod support coming sometime. It's also supposed to be getting NVIDIA's Ansel screenshot tech, which I'm personally aching for. So maybe NVIDIA's modding team can punch up No Man's Sky to 11. Frankly, I'd be happy if they could just let me turn up the damn draw distance. But rolling back from speculation to actual facts, are you going to be playing NVIDIA's Fallout 4 mod, Vault 1080? I'm going to give it a go. Of course I will. I do wonder if it will be useful as a new GPU benchmark, because naturally with all the Nvidia tech churning away, it's going to be a little tougher on your system than the regular game, I suspect. Ooh, I wonder if Nvidia will build in some kind of proper benchmarking test. That would be nice too. So let the reactions and speculation and anticipation and expectations fly in my lovely, lovely down below area. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.